Coventry's Roy Wegerly is among the assortment of foreign players in our domestic game who will be gracing the World Cup next summer. He joins the United States team as soon as our season ends. And teammate Phil Babb is another who might make it with Jack Charlton's Republic of Ireland, courtesy of an Irish mother. He was in the squad for the qualifying game in Belfast. But it's an everyday quest for league points that's today's priority. Both sides are unchanged. West Ham as they were in losing here 1-0 to Leeds four days ago. Number 14, Ian Bishop, who'll run central midfield, having overcome doubts about flu. Coventry feel the same team that completed the double over Arsenal last Saturday. Number 10, Mickey Quinn got the crucial goal for them then, and indeed four of his seven this season have come against the Gunners. Keith Cooper of Pontypridd, our referee this afternoon. And Coventry in the goal shirts, attacking the goal to the right, forcing Steve Grzovic to make an early kick. Potts looking for a target. Chapman available. Nicely taken down by Butler. Marsh back to Butler. Oh, good ball. Breaker on a break. He hasn't scored since last Christmas. He has now. Oh, Tim Breaker loves the festive season. And West Ham opened the scoring with 12 minutes gone. What a good link-up that was between the West Ham players and Breaker, the fullback on the overlap, running into space. And when he wanted the ball played in front of him, it was. And from that sort of a position, a goal was inevitable. Bishop. That time he ignored Burroughs, but Matt Holmes didn't. Holmes chipped up for Chapman at the back post. Morley goes in. Grisovic was there. And play continues. Well, there was a moment when most of the crowd seemed to think the whistle would go then for perhaps a push by Morley on Grisovic. Well, there's no doubt here that Chapman does get free of his marker at the back post, but he doesn't quite get his forehead onto the ball properly. And the referee seeing no offence there as Morley went in on the keeper. Haven't been many opportunities for Mickey Quinn to show his goal-scoring touch. goals in 14 games he scored when he arrived at Coventry for a quarter of a million pounds a year ago finished the season with 17 and the foot was high but David Burroughs isn't the sort of player to complain referee's having a quiet word with Flynn Butler to run at them Marsh gives it him back. Butler. Still Butler. Oh, what a good goal. And how richly deserved by a player who's been the star of the first half. And again, a little spell of football by West Ham that you can only sit back and enjoy. Butler started it. Marsh gave it him back. Butler took it in his stride. Maybe there was a little knock on there from Morley, but Butler was right through the heart of them and in off the foot of the post to put West Ham two up. Yes, there was a little touch from Morley, which was instrumental. But Peter Butler gets his first of the season with five minutes to go to half-time, and it's a peach. up for Roy Wegerly with his back to goal that's Julian Darby and he's found him well Darby Coventry have pulled one back Julian Darby popping up and in his immediate riposte from Coventry
Wegerly, who played it into the path of Derby. He held off the challenge of Butler and put it wide of Miklosko. So Coventry's reply is immediate. Butler pumping through the middle. This is Marsh. Lee Chapman. Butler. And Bishop. David Burrows might think about hitting one. Oh, and he does strike a great ball, doesn't he, David Burrows? It was a lovely height. And the six foot four inch Coventry goalkeeper had to be at full stretch. And as the first half moves into added time, West Ham have a corner but you could hardly strike one better than that. Chapman got the header down, Rennie missed it! And that's the final act of the first half. A first half in which West Ham looked to be in total control. The first goal from Breaker, and then that real quality strike from Peter Butler. But Coventry replied immediately with Julian Darby pulling one back. So at half-time here, at Upton Park, it's West Ham 2, Coventry 1, and a really exciting game to enjoy. West Ham start the second half, wanting to pick up from where they were after Peter Butler scored. And, uh, maybe the celebrations of having gone 2-0 up went on just a few seconds too long. Holmes to knock it in. Came off the head of Atherton, Butler arrives. And the shot on the turn by Mike Marsh. So West Ham tried to make amends right at the start of the second half. Coventry were unbeaten in their first eight league games of the season and were fourth in the table. But they've slipped somewhat since, back down into the bottom half and 15th place. Quinn, Wegerly. This is Quinn. Stung the hands of Miklosko, who stood up to it at the near post. Coventry will certainly feel more confident that there might be something in this match for them as a result of that goal by Julian Darby. Back header by Moore. This is Chapman. Marsh. Breaker goes on the overlap. Butler. Bishop retrieves it. Burrows. This is Tony Gale. Chapman steered it down nicely to Butler. Matt Holmes. Came off the head of Rennie. This is Breaker. Again, West Ham enjoying a long spell of possession around Coventry's penalty area. Marsh, oh, shouldered over. Yes, the linesman's put the flag on his chest, and the referee has pointed at the spot. And young Peter Unglub may be increasingly frustrated at the lack of opportunities he's had because of how tightly he's been marked by Tim Breaker, has conceded a penalty. Pushing Marsh in the back before either of them had the ball under control. Both referee and linesman in unison. Trevor Morley, who's placed the ball. An opportunity to give West Ham a lead of three goals to one with an hour played. Well, the scoreline doesn't flatter West Ham in any way because they've played some really good football this afternoon but it's from the penalty spot that the third goal finally arrives well West Ham were fourth bottom with just five points and one win at the start of the season then came the three new players and that away match at Blackburn they won 2-0 and they haven't looked back since 
Morley trying to tee it up for somebody. Bishop hit the crossbar against Leeds in midweek. But it was a rueful smile at where that one finished up. Derby gets his second goal of the match and at both ends this afternoon there have been real quality strikes it's a really inviting ball played in and Julian Derby getting to it first and pulling another goal back for Coventry with some 13 minutes left offside Marsh hadn't got back. £150,000 signing in October. And he was always going to get to that one first. This is Atherton. And may well feel they can get something out of this. Look at the pace of Williams. Strong tackle by Tony Gale. And Coventry are looking at the linesman and the referee, and neither feel there was a penalty in it. It was inside the penalty area, and the Coventry players, led by John Williams, are still looking across at the linesman. And it doesn't look from that angle as though Tony Gale got anything of the ball. Well, John Williams has a terrific turn of heel, and Phil Neal certainly knows that who won the sprint challenge a season or two ago. Morley kept it in play. Burrows. Rennie slipped. This is Marsh. Still Marsh. Oh, good play by Marsh! Oh, it could save a Grizovic. But neat little footwork by Mike Marsh. Hardly seemed possible that he could keep possession of that or that he could get through, what, four defenders? But he did. And Grzovic put his hand up to knock it behind for the corner. Marsh. Burrows. Holmes. Makes space for the cross into the penalty area. Still Holmes pulled it back to Tony Gale. Allen, it wouldn't come down, and anyway, there were players offside. Maybe the best chance was the one which fell to Tony Gale there. Matt Holmes wriggling into the penalty area. Gale was at full stretch, and as Allen hit this, Lee Chapman was offside. Well, managers can only watch and wait and hope and wonder how much Keith Cooper will add on. Baker down the touchline. Chapman is in the middle. Butler. And Marsh. And there goes the whistle. A real rip roaring league match. A quality game in the Premier League, which West Ham have won by three goals to two. Trevor Morley's penalty after 60 minutes, giving West Ham that commanding 3-1 lead after Julian Derby had pulled one back in the first half. But full-time here at Upton Park, it's West Ham 3, Coventry 2. <laughs> 